AITA. Am I the a-hole? For keeping a lost pet until the owner paid the advertised reward? This weekend I was walking through the park, and I saw a cat that looked like one I had seen on posters that were posted around the neighborhood. They said there was a reward of $500 for finding their lost cat. So I caught the cat, which was pretty easy since he was friendly, and checked a poster to see if it was him, it was. I went home, put him in the back porch, and called the number on the poster to let them know I found their cat. They were happy that I found him and said they could come pick him up right away. I confirmed that there was a $500 reward, texted the guy a picture of the cat, and gave him my address. This is where the problem started. When he got to my house, I asked for the reward money before returning the cat. He said that there actually isn't a reward and that he only advertised one to increase the chance that people would look for his cat. I told him that I wasn't going to give his cat back until he paid the promised reward, and that he shouldn't have posted one if he didn't want to pay one. He then got angry and threatened to call the cops if I wouldn't give him the cat. I said that he was welcome to and that I would be happy to get things on the record in case I had to take him to small claims court. He begrudgingly told me that he would be back later with the money. Later that night he came by with the full $500, I gave him his cat, and that was the end of it. When I told my girlfriend about it, she thought I should have just gave him back the cat since it cost me nothing to catch him, and that everyone was having hard times right now. Some of my friends also think that the guy was probably desperate to get his pet back, and that it was kind of shitty for me to profit from a lost animal. I still think that if you post a reward, you should pay it, and that the guy probably just wanted to save $500 and get the benefit of advertising a reward without paying it. So AITA. Am I the a-hole? What the frock? How morally bankrupt do you have to be to hold another person's pet hostage until they give you money? Just because you happen to be the one who found a friendly cat walking by on the street. You're, like, the definition of lawful evil. This is the most reluctant ESH, everybody sucks here, I've ever given because the cat owner was absolutely in the wrong for advertising a reward they didn't intend to pay. What they did was shitty. Thankfully, you found a frocked up way to outdo them. ESH. Everybody sucks here. He is an a-hole for lying about the reward. You are the much bigger a-hole here without a shadow of a doubt. You literally held that poor cat hostage from the owner in order to get $500. How disgustingly misguided is your moral compass? Way to try and make money off someone's misfortune. Next time, give him the cat, and tell him he's a prick for lying, and of. ESH. Everybody sucks here. It was cruel of you to hold the cat hostage, but he shouldn't have advertised the reward if he wasn't willing to pay for its return. YTA. You're the a-hole. You basically proved to the guy that people wouldn't have gone out of their way to find the cat just to be nice, but because there was a reward offered. Gross. ESH. It was shitty of him to lie but I genuinely cannot imagine holding a lost cat hostage for ransom money. NTA. Not the a-hole. He shouldn't advertise a reward if he did not intend to pay it. NTA. Not the a-hole. Hum. All valid points. But why did he confirm via text he would give you a reward then tell you no to your face? Obviously he was hoping to get the cat and run. If he had money issues and couldn't pay you why didn't he just say so? Also if your friends were in your position they probably would do the same thing. And TA. Let's look at this from the other angle. I lost my cat and put up posters offering a $500 reward, even though I never had any intention of paying that reward. Am I the a-hole? Yes cat owner. You are the a-hole. And T.A. I've lost a pet before and posted a reward fully intending to pay it. He was trying to take advantage of you. 
ESH. He shouldn't have posted a reward, but you should have just given back his cat if it hardly took you anything to get it. I could see wanting money for your trouble if you had to fetch him out of a tree or really had to be inconvenienced, but you weren't. People say slash do desperate things to get back their little friends when they're missing and don't know what's happened to them. You took advantage of him. NTA. Not the a-hole. If a police organization posted a reward for information leading to the arrest of a criminal, and you saw the criminal walking by, and called in a tip, you would expect to be paid that reward. This is the same thing. The police couldn't just be like, oh yeah well we just posted that reward because we really wanted to catch this guy, we didn't ever plan on actually paying anyone. I'm going against the grain and saying NTA. I mean seriously what the other guy did was straight up illegal. Once you post that there is a reward for an animal you've entered into a unilateral contract. If you took this guy to court, you would win your money. Morally yeah you should have given the guy his cat and then just took him to small claims. It's his duty as a pet owner to take care of his animal, he failed to do that and then he tried to get off scotch free after offering a reward for his lost animal. NTA I very strongly disagree with all the people saying that everyone sucks, or you're the a-hole. Guy posts a reward for the lost pet. That's on them 100%. Asking for the posted reward is not an a-hole thing to do. It also isn't your responsibility to capture the pet even if there wasn't a reward. It would be a nice thing to do, but not a-hole behavior to just walk away. YTA you're the a-hole. Everybody sucks here but mostly you're the a-hole. He shouldn't have offered the fake reward, but you pulled the bigger jerk move here by turning it into a hostage situation. ESH. I did some googling, the person is bound by the offer of $500, you could definitely go to small claims court for that. A little trickier was finding if you are breaking the law by holding the pet until payment. Seems like best case scenario, you are at least risking breaking the law. Best course of action would have been to return the pet, and if they didn't pay the award, go to small claims court, in which you can usually take on expenses, so you'd be suing for more than $500. ESH. You both are a-holes. No need to elaborate. Unpopular opinion but NTA. The owner refused to keep his word and tried to manipulate others into finding their cat, with no intention of rewarding when he promised said reward. Is it an a-hole thing to do to demand you get paid? Sure. But OP is still not in the wrong here and that's what I feel AITA is about, if you're in the wrong or not. If I advertise that I want some car repair and I state I'm offering 5000 to get help and then try to say, oh no I only said that so someone would help me, is the contractor an a-hole for demanding payment after they do the work so they hold the car until I get the money? Also a note, personally if the person didn't have the 500 but tried to offer like 50 or 100 after saying, I'm sorry I only said that because I was desperate but I don't have 500. I would be happy to offer to give him the cat at no charge. I can't presume how the owner stated he didn't have the money, other than how OP stated it so I have to go based off of that as my reasoning. If OP had been offered partial money, and was told that they're sorry but they didn't have financial means to give all the promised money, I'd lean more towards ESH. ESH. He shouldn't have set out a reward he couldn't pay. However holding a pet hostage is very wrong and I'm pretty sure illegal. Give the pet back and get him to sign something that says he owes you or something. This is going way too far. YTA. You're the a-hole. Losing a pet is traumatic. The guy was just desperate to get him back and you held his cat hostage. Way to try to make money off another person's misfortune. YTA. You're the a-hole. You had a legal right to do what you did. But especially knowing everyone is having a hard time financially right now, hard YTA. 
and T.A. A reward was promised and you deserve to get it? Not sure what the end game is if they say no though. Do you keep the cat? Put it back outside where you found it as if this never happened. 